All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it, man. I know each and every one of y'all love your boy, but before we get started, can I ask y'all to do me a favor and give it up for each and every one of my gym stars? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Look, man. Hey, I appreciate y'all doing what y'all do, man. Hit the like button and all of that, man. But look, this is what I got to show y'all, man. Get your breeze in the, get your tees in the breeze when you rock with breeze tees, man. Y'all don't be hitting the like button. Channel ain't growing all this stuff. I'm making a new channel too. So I do want y'all to be on the lookout for that. I'm going to leave y'all a, a link down in the description. Well, one day this week. And then I'm going to put up videos over here directing y'all to the new channel. But I'm, I'm hey, I got to do this experiment, man. Look, this channel. It's pretty much dead. It ain't growing. It's not going anywhere. It's just not working out. It's just like like there's no growth. I mean, I get a little bit at the beginning of the 2K and then the traction falls off. And I put up more videos than anybody. I talk about more relevant things than anybody, more tutorials, all that stuff. Like it it, it is what it is. It's just not going anywhere. And I believe it's it's a two it's a YouTube algorithm that's got me in the uh in the in the trash can. But anyway, look, because of because of that, man, look, man. Custom shirts, man. Look, get them made by us, handmade by your boy in my in my own shop. You know what I'm talking about, man. Get anything on your shirt as long as it's big enough. Look at this Jackson D. I love, man. Look at that, man. You can have that right there. Yo, alma mater can be on there, man. You can make masks. Check it out. I say, I say, check it out. Let's put this on here, man. Let's put that on there, man. Put that thing on there. Look, I made the mask yesterday. Boom, look, take my boy Tay26 asked me how big they are. This is how big they are, Tay. So you can cover your whole face just like this. Dog work, don't lie. Hey, we got these joints. We got them on deck, man. Make sure you get your mom a mug, a dad a mug, or anybody. You know what I'm saying? If you drink coffee in the morning, then you can, uh, you know what I'm saying? You get a mug. You know what I'm talking about? You get a mug. You get a mug. That's what I'm you talking about. Put it on your wish list, man. Everybody get a mug, man. You know what I'm talking about? Get yourself a mug. All this stuff, man. We trying to get rolling, man. And last but not least, mouse pads. Mouse pads is the most fine thing that we got, man. Look at these things. Them things. Fire. I got to go back and show y'all. Uh, sorry about the little long commercial, man. But I got to go back and show y'all. I'm not a successful YouTuber, so I cannot. I can't just do, you know, do anything that I want and, and it just work out. So, you know, it don't work. It don't work like that for me, man. Let's let's go uh, with this, this right here. Let's go with this right here. This right here, man. Look, man. Boom. Get your mouth. I will take care of all the little white space. I'll make it work out for you. All that. Zoom in. Look, look at that. Ooh, look at that. that bar. I say, look at that. that bar. Look at that. You got yourself a mouse pad, man. Check it out. Anyway, like I said, get your tees in the breeze when you rock with breeze tees, man. Um, That's how we roll it. Anyway, man, elephant in the room, man. Let me understand y'all something, man. A lot of people probably want me to um wondering if i'm ever gonna weigh in on the elephant in the room situation and i am and i'm gonna tell y'all just like this i don't get into i don't get into the affairs of millionaires that don't care about me don't even know my name i just don't and if y'all can read between the lines y'all y'all know what i'm talking about i don't I'm, I'm too worried trying to get my own thing going it's not that i don't like the people that are involved i just don't give a fuck like i gotta like me caring about any of that stuff is that gonna feed my wife is that gonna feed my baby is that gonna make him get shoes clothes none of that no it's not so i just don't care about it i, I don't give up i see everything and and probably the most the most uh um, the most positive thing I can, I can tell you like this look man somebody can say something about somebody and the person say something back you get to control what you say you don't get to control how the person react man look this right here my boy anonymous he said it the best man this type of stuff that had this is the type this type of stuff that has our community so screwed up. I pro, I promise you, this hurt our younger generation more than it helps. Uh, NBA 2K should be a place where we all come together to enjoy a great I mean a great basketball game most of the time and a great basketball experience. And that's just it. That's how I feel about it. Like bro, instead of us going at each other all the time, why can't we lift us? Why 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 can't we? You know what I'm saying? Why can't we lift each other up and do something, you know, you know what I'm saying? Dude, let's let's do something positive, man. Y'all already know how I feel about it.
Hey, that's how I feel about it, man. We supposed to be brothers, man. We supposed to be lifting each other up and all that. But this is the reaction that everybody else, that everybody wants out of somebody. Find them. <laughs> that's the reaction that everybody wants. We want to be a pole. We want a polarizing reaction, and we want all that stuff. We want people to just be this, that, council. I don't care about none of this stuff, man. I just got to get my babies fed and all that. Let me show you. I'm going to show you all this video right here, man, and I hope y'all can. I hope that I have enough people whose minds operate on high enough vibrations to understand why I'm going to show you this video and why I don't care about the affairs of millionaires when I'm trying to become one myself. Please open your mind, watch this video. I know Anonymous is going to be so proud of me on this video. Open your mind, watch this video, listen to what they're saying and see if you can pull from it what it is that I'm trying to show y'all. This video is just talking about Jeff Bezos being the richest man in the world, by far, probably the richest man in human existence, and the Walton family. Just listen. Just watch the video. This is my boy Fitz. He's always putting something good up. Capitalism is good, but don't fuck the taxpayers. Pay your people accordingly. Give them give the same opportunity to your workers as you got from your country. Jeff Here Bezos, we go. the founder of Amazon, is worth about $150 billion. Think about That's that. Enough to make him the richest man in I the bought world. all my mouse pads from Amazon Possibly anyway. The richest human being in all of human history. Exactly. It's certainly enough to pay his employees well. Definitely he is. Doesn't. A huge number of Amazon workers are so poorly paid, they qualify for federal welfare benefits. Now, y'all already know that that's the case because we had to go to war with Amazon earlier this year and get them to stop striking. We did that. The Gym Stars did all that, man. Go ahead. According to data from the nonprofit group New Food Economy, look at one this. One in three Amazon employees in Arizona, for example, was on food stamps last year. Food stamps. Jeff Bezos isn't. You working at Amazon and you're on food stamps. Why, this man makes $150 I don't even know what that comes. I think we said he makes something like 243 million a day or something like that. I think that we we got that. I don't hey, know. Was workers going. enough to eat, so you made up the difference with your tax dollars. Next time you see Jeff Bezos, make certain to, that he says thank you. What about the Walton family? They found talk about the Walmart. Walmart. Collectively, they're worth about 175 billion dollars. Mm, Thirst quenching. The entire gross domestic product of Qatar, the oil-rich Gulf state. A oil-rich Gulf state. Gross domestic product is less than what Walmart is worth. Think about that. that hey, hey, we know we you know plundering is Walmart going on there. Definitely afford to be generous with their workers. Definitely could. Instead, they count on you to take up the slack. Mm -hmm. In 2013, taxpayers sent more than six billion dollars to Walmart's employees mm. for food stamps, Medicaid, and housing assistance. Think about that. That you working at Walmart or you working at at the two of the richest corporations in the world. And instead of them helping you or paying you accordingly, what are they doing? They're teaching you how to apply for welfare. That's insane to me. And if you think that's remarkable, one more, Travis one more. Kalanick, he's the youthful founder of Uber. His personal fortune is close to $5 billion. Mm. His drivers, by contrast, often Maybe make five. less than minimum wage. Yeah. One recent study found that many Uber drivers lose money working for the company. You can lose money working for Uber. You got to be smart about it, man. I'm... That's not a sustainable business model. The only reason it continues is because of your generosity. Because you're paying the welfare benefits for Uber's impoverished mm. drivers, child billionaires like Travis get to keep buying bigger houses and more airplanes. He's right. someone else who owes you a thank you note. Definitely. If you can think of a less fair system than this, send us an email. We'd love to hear about it. This system is indefensible. And yet, almost nobody ever complains about it. How come? Well, because they don't. Like us, yeah. Support the free market. Yeah. 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 We're going to talk about it in a second. The free market works. But there's nothing free about this market. A lot of these companies operate as monopolies. They hate markets. Exactly. They use government regulation to crush competition. There's nothing conservative about it. All right. So, oh, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's finish this. There's finish nothing this. conservative about most big corporations. Just the opposite. They are the backbone of the left. Hey, now, I don't care about the backbone of the left and all this stuff, but I hope that that video didn't go over so many people's heads. Y'all understand what I'm saying? We are the poor and impoverished. The people up top on YouTube are the rich and, and, and powerful, and they got everything. And 
Do you think Jeff Bezos paid attention to his workers when they struck? Yes. But as long as they're working and everything's going along and it's cool, you think he care? Nope. The only time he listened is when they struck. And that's the same thing with YouTube and people up top and big and all that. The only time they care about anybody below them is when there's a problem. Now, yeah, I care about you. You my employee. I do it, but like, 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 I just hope that didn't go over nobody's head. That's why I don't get into the affairs of millionaires, man. I just don't. Because those guys are millionaires. That's where I'm trying to go. Maybe somebody's gonna see me like that one day. But they, these, you got millionaires that don't know your name, and I'm going to war and riding for them and stuff like that. I can't see myself doing that, man. I just can't see it. Like, I can't see myself even getting involved in it when, when like people just don't even know your name. It is what it is, man. But like, I hope that video didn't go completely over anybody's head, and and that you can understand the correlation between it. I'm trying to draw it without, without you know, like, hey, they care, we care about you, but a lot of a, a lot of YouTubers do care about their people. A lot of YouTubers love their fans and all this stuff, and a lot of YouTubers, what they do, you build them up, you go to work. You, you hit the sub button, hit the all like button, do all that stuff for them. You ride for them. Now they millionaires. And then the first thing you say wrong, you getting shit on. Or or it's or they flexing on you with the money that you gave them by watching the videos. It just is what it is. It ain't nothing wrong with it. Because when I get up there, you probably not even going to know what I got. I'm not even going to lie to you. You're not going to know what type of house I got. I'm not doing no house videos. I already got cars. I got all this stuff. So I, you're not going to see none of that. But all I'm telling you is that's why I don't get involved in the affairs of millionaires because at the end, they don't know my name because at the end of the day, we just a number. you just a number to them. I'm not saying that that's for all YouTubers. I'm not even saying that, that that's the case for these YouTubers involved. But largely... That is the case. You just a nameless, faceless person inside the inside their organization. Because these guys are corporations unto themselves, believe it or not. And the people that watch the videos and, and ride for them and do their stuff, you're just like an employee that don't get paid. If you think I'm lying, just look at the numbers. These guys are corporations unto themselves. Anyway, man, I ain't here for all that, man. Like, I just want y'all, like, we. I'm, I'm talking too much common sense. My mind works way differently than everybody else. And... It just, it just is what it is. Let's go back to talking about some of this stuff that we were talking about yesterday. Uh, yesterday, we talked about how people... If I'm wrong, let me know. Check me down in the comments. Let me know, man. It is what it is. But, I mean, I just think for the most part, that's that's how it is. Um, And that's why I don't get into, in, into stuff like that. But this is what I want to talk to y'all about. Okay, so I looked down in the comments, and the most, the most people that opposed what I was saying yesterday about you should be able to earn hot spots everywhere was saying, well... That would that wouldn't be the case. That that shouldn't be the case because most people play the game on rookie. So you are gonna go into my career, earn your earn your hot spots on rookie, and then you are gonna come out to the park and have an advantage. My guy, did you not play two K in every other iteration? It's been like that in every other iteration of two K. You go to you go into you go into my career. You play on rookie. You get your hot spots and you got them everywhere. It's been like that. Nobody ever had a problem with it before. Hell, 2K18 was even easier. It was a glitch. You go hit 10 shots from everywhere, and as soon as you as soon as you hit 10 for 10 from everywhere, you simulate the season out. Bam! You had hot spots everywhere. Nobody complained about that. Nobody had a problem with that. And, and we got a problem with doing it, doing that for that. But when people go to go and grind to 99 in my career, or they go and grind to 99. Uh, grind their badges up in my career on on super easy extra rookie. Nobody got a problem with that though. Why do we only got a problem with it because it's hot spots? Because you got to like, I don't get that. that. It doesn't make sense to me. Badges are infinitely more important than hot spots. So you don't got a problem with people grinding those on rookie extra rookie, but you got a problem with somebody else grinding some hot spots that don't even mean that 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 much. And then the other thing was like one guy was like, yo, what two or three shots a game? You must play like ISO or this. Look, bro. I'm sorry that we don't really miss shots like that. This game right here, there were nine shots on the board, and there were eight shots for the other team. Even if we evenly divided these shots, nine shots is three shots apiece, my boy. That's two or three shots apiece. Like, what, what are we saying? That, that because there's only nine shots on the, the other board, they tried to play team basketball and do all this stuff, and they got eight shots. Cause we play defense. We play good defense, and we play, 
and we hit threes, we hit our shots. It ain't but like nine shots to go around in a game. This is a typical game for us. There are nine shots. So when you got nine shots, you're not gonna get but two or three shots a game. There just aren't enough shots to go around. In direct, yeah, I get 10, 15, 10, 20 shots a game if I'm, if I'm hot or if I'm in the right spot. But in the park, you're not getting enough shots. It's just not enough shots to go around, especially when you play competition. But anyway, man, like I said, I just wanted to rebut those two things, man. Those are the most two things that most people had the problem with. Like I said, man, I hope y'all mind vibrate on a high enough frequency and vibration to understand what I'm saying, man. Like, I'm telling you, bro, don't get in the, don't get, I'm telling you, look, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody do things that's wrong. Hey, I, I made a video earlier this year about Fredo and I was like, he was completely in the right for when he said he really don't want to play 2K, he don't want to get involved with the community because of how he know he's going to react. And then, you know, it is what it is. You completely within your right. And, you know, somebody's completely within their right to make a video on you and you can make one on them and you don't get to choose how people respond like it is what it is. If a man, if I walk up to you and slap you and you go get your, and you go get the, the whammer and blam me, Hey, you completely within your right. Now you're gonna go to jail and you're gonna they're gonna say you was wrong and stuff like that, but hey, you completely within your right. And I can't get I can't dictate how you respond to me. So it is what it is. You don't get to control both sides, you get to control one. But like I said, don't get involved in the affairs of millionaires, just like the Jada and, and Will. They laughing at everybody else because they cool right now, but everybody else, ah, ah, Jada should do this and Will should do that, bro. They cool. They don't care about us. They gonna keep on rolling. The sun come up for them, they gonna keep going. And I promise you the only thing they trying to figure out is how to get more money. And that's what we should be trying to do, just figure out how to get some money. But one thing I will say to Fredo Homeboy that said, hey, even when he wrong, I'm gonna stand behind him like he right. That That's really good in certain situations. But I will tell you this, I did that one time. Somebody was dead ass wrong and, and I stood behind him like they was right. Probably a few times. I ended up in handcuffs. So I don't say that for everything, but for the most part, I get what he was saying. But just, you know, choose your battles. That's it. This ain't no situation like that, but I'm just saying, you know, and I'm not saying that Fredo ever gonna put you in a situation like that because I don't believe he will. I'm just saying you can't take that with everybody. And I'm not saying that you would. I'm just saying, you know, I want to caution other people who may not have as broad a mind as he has. Like, I'm sure he knows what situation to do that in, but you must, you might, you got kids watching that might be like, shoot, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with my homeboy. And then, you know, like that. So we just gotta be mindful of the people that we talking to and stuff like that. I just want, you know, hopefully a lot of people, mind does vibrate on the same frequency that, I, that I'm talking about. And this is why you don't get involved in the affairs of millionaires, man. It is what it is. I tell T the, T the whole time, I'm too busy trying to get money and feed my family. I'm a thousand now trying to become a millionaire. What I look like, sitting here critiquing people when I could be grinding, doing my own thing. It is what it is, man. Y'all probably ain't even gonna know that's, that's what this video is about. I'm probably gonna make it be like rebutting jump shot stuff and all that. But uh, it is what it is, man. Y'all take it easy. I'm out of here till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak. Be on the lookout for the link for the new channel. Give me some, if you made it this far, give me some names for what y'all think my new channel channel should be called. Jay Easy Reborn, Jay Easy Rebirth, the Jay Easy Project, something like that. Jay Easy the 2K Project. I don't know, man. I, I gotta think of something, but we're gonna try this out. And I'm out. Peace.